Hey everyone, sorry for the delay in releasing a video lately. Both Mike and myself are hard at work. Uh, one, creating brand new course curriculum for design systems on uicollective.co and also uh, building out a brand new site experience for UI Collective. Um, both of which hope to launch relatively soon uh, and then the videos will again come much more uh, frequently. Um, so today we're gonna look at uh, when you should be using uh, component level tokens or variables. We're gonna look at, uh, first off, what is a component level token or variable? And then we're gonna look at it from the from a context of our own design system where we did actually decide to use uh, a component level uh, token or variable for our alert component just because we could find the right combination of colors that would make our notification or alert stand out. So it's a simple lesson today, but if you're building a design system uh, or you just want more experience, it's something great for you to know. Uh, so let's get started. The first thing that I want to go over is what is a component level token versus what you might call a global uh, token or variable. Again, you're using the terms token variable interchangeably. So here is an example of our global surface tokens. And what that might be referring to is you have one color, which is applied to each of your different components. So changing your master token or your master variable will affect all of your different components. So as an example, here we have our surface information. We have our surface error, our surface warning, and our surface success, all of which are tied to, in this case, just three components. So your alert, your snack bar, and your badge. This is a really good way to simplify your tokens and your variables, because if you have 100 components, you know you don't want to have um, 500 different variables or tokens. That's not manageable for every, everyone. If you need to make a change to one, you know, ideally that change should be reflected on all of your components to keep consistency. And what you want to avoid is component level tokens. Again, tokens or variables, where you have a color for each of your components. So in this case, an alert information, a snack bar information, a badge information go down the line, so on, so forth. So you, hopefully you see the difference in complexity between global surface tokens and component level uh, tokens. However, this does not mean that you shouldn't use component level uh, tokens or variables. There are specific scenarios where those should come in handy and we'll look at that next. So now let's look at what it is acceptable to use your component level tokens or variables. And I just want to come out there right off the bat and state you don't really want to. You know, it should be really your last possible scenario. You don't want to have a family of tokens, uh, variables for each of your different uh, components. That can get really messy really quick, both in terms of like confusion for the design team that's using your design system and also for yourself in terms of maintenance. Again, ideally, if you make a change to one token or variable, that should make a change to all of your components. You don't want to have to go in and individually adjust the color of each of your different components. However, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't at all cases. You should really think about the type of component that you're building and whether or not the colors that you're using fits. So let's look at an example. So here I have our surface colors on light mode. And personally, I think they stand out just fine. Sure, they, you might think they could be a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. It's all personal preference. However, if I uh, transition these same colors into dark mode, so now our light mode surface colors will uh, swap modes to dark. Let's look at what happens. Is our surface colors, they stay a little bit darker. And sure, depending on the type of component that you're working with, that is just fine. But when we were building out our design system, we couldn't find a right combination of colors that worked for all of our components. Again, with the surface colors that worked for each component, including our alert. Our alert posed a little bit of a challenge. So we had our light mode alert, which I think is just fine. However, when those same uh, surface colors were mapped to dark mode, we personally didn't think that the background stood out enough on dark mode when working with something that the user should know. Again, maybe it's an important warning or an error. You really, really want your notification or alert to stand out. And if we made uh, our surface on our dark mode a little bit lighter, we found some negative impacts on other components. So what we actually decided to do is create surface level variables specifically for our alert component. So let's open up 
uh, our variables here. So here we have our surface success, error, warning. Um, and here at the bottom, we have our alert success, our alert information, our alert warning, and our alert error. The light mode colors stayed the same, but our dark mode colors are much more prominent. You know, they're much stronger, much, much more bold. And the result of this is as follows. So we have our light mode. And now on dark mode is they do really stand out a lot more from the background. Again, if it's a notification or alert, you really want it to stand out. And by creating component level uh, tokens variables specifically for our alert component, we were able to achieve what we were looking for. And again, you're probably asking is why did I just make that change global? Is because when we did that, we found some downstream impacts that really uh, impacted other components. So in order to keep things simple uh, and achieve the look that we were looking for, we actually specifically for our notification or alert component created component or component level uh, tokens or variables. So again, it was the last possible um, solution that we had and one that still fits. But again, I hope that gives you a brief introduction as to when to use your component level tokens or variables. And just to wrap it up, here's your friendly reminder to sign up for uicollective.co, uh, your home for everything design systems. You can learn to build a design system uh, or also uh, you can buy our pre-made design system right here. And here's just our preview file uh, where you get access to all these unreal components uh, across light mode uh, and dark mode. It's about 50 plus components, uh, 3000 plus uh, different combinations of properties, variants, uh, best design system you'll find. And I'll leave the link for this in the description below. See you online, UI Collective.